Hello everyone and welcome back to another Doctor Who Action Figure Review. Now, today's video is coming from somewhere a little bit different as I'm sat in my garden. I'm taking the best of the current heat wave that we've got here in Britain and I thought I'd do these reviews outside. So if this works, fantastic. If it doesn't, this won't be happening again. But today I'm taking a look at the History of the Daleks set 14, which is based on Revelation of the Daleks. Now, this is out now exclusively from B&M stores. It's priced at $21.99, and it's a very nice set, as you can see here. So, as always, without further ado, we'll move the figures to one side, and we'll take a look at the brand new revised B&M packaging, which is very nice. It's very striking. When I walked into the shop this morning, uh, this immediately popped on the shelf. My local store had dozens of last year's sets still sitting on the shelves but only three of these i haven't managed to pick up the other two sets yet but they had three of these and i immediately saw them on the shelf so you've got the new diamond logo up in the top corner there you've got the tardis graphic you've got featuring two necros daleks 5.5 inch scale collector series limited edition sticker you've got the sick doctor issue of the daleks set 14 and revelation of the daleks 1985 now, as you can see, there is this lovely gold-yellow motif going on. And apparently what this signifies is that each Doxa will get their own colour scheme, which is really nice. Moving around to the side, you've got the same logo again, History of the Daleks set 14. On the back, you've got a huge write-up on Revelation of the Daleks and the behind-the-scenes props. On the other side, you've got that yellow motif carrying over the sixth Doxa and the Doxa logo. And on top we have the line version of the logo, and on the bottom we have all the legal guff. So that's the box, and here we have the two Necros Daleks. I apologise if you can hear my dog in the background. Uh, these are identical figures, but they are really, really nice. In fact, they come up really nicely through this natural lighting here today. And so I'm just going to take a look at one, and we'll have a look at this one on the left, because they are the same figure. Uh, for all intents and purposes, you might think, well, we've had this before, but we haven't. Um, this is actually a bit of a retool. It's the same retooling that's been used largely on the Five Doctors Dalek, which is also out now. But as you can see from the dome, we have... I think it's a new sculpt for the dome lights, which look really, really nice. Got the eye stalk, which I think is slightly different to what we've had before. It's... Very similar to the ones we had last year. I'm not sure if it's accurate, but it looks very, very cool. Moving down, we've got the neck bin. We've got that lovely gold motif. We've got the added little bit here, which just gives the Dalek a little bit more height and really resembles the accuracy of those props. Moving down, we've got the mesh section, which is painted very, very nicely. And in fact, this is a whole brand new sculpt here to have the oval the slightly different oval on between the gun and the plunger, which is very nice to see. They didn't have to go to that extent, but it's really nice that they paid enough attention to detail to do that. Moving down again, we've got the skirt section with the hemispheres, which looks very, very nice. And then the two-toned fender. We have the off-white and the black. It's worth noting that these darks look really nice. They're not chalk white. They're a bit like chalk white, really. They're not vibrant white like the Imperial Daleks but they are just a, just enough of an off-white to look a bit different on the shelf. In terms of articulation, the Daleks have, well, it's what you've come to expect. You've got 360 for the head, eye stalk moves up and down, and then the gun, plunger, three wheels. Uh, one thing about these Daleks that I've noticed is that, whether it be because of the packaging or just because of the conditions in the UK at the moment, the eye, which I think you can see there, and the plunger and the gun are very soft. They're made of very, very soft plastic, so do be a bit careful with them. Um, the gun is slightly different to the prior in, uh, Necros Daleks, that is worth noting. But these two Daleks are identical, but they are very, very nice. If you missed out on any of the previous Necros Daleks, these are a fantastic army builder. But this is actually the fourth release of the Necros Daleks. So I'm just going to bring in the other releases that we've had. So we had the original Necros Dalek, which came out in the Revelation of the Daleks 4-pack, I believe way back in 2011. 
This was the set that came with Davros, the Sixth Doctor in the blue cloak, and a Scaro Dalek. Very, very nice figure. But as you can see, it uses the generic Genesis sculpt. So you can see stuff like the center oval is different and the gold is a different color. There's little changes like that. Then a couple of years later, we had the SFX version of the Necros Dalek, which was for all intents and purposes, exactly the same, just with the sound effects. And then in 2013, we had this one here, which came with the Sick Doctor in the Toys R Us exclusive two pack. So as you can see, there is a marked difference between these three and this one in terms of the gold, in terms of the accuracy. And I think the new one is far more accurate than the prior releases. They're all fantastic, but the new one really hones in on the accuracy and it's just a fantastic addition to the collection. So there we go, guys. There's a very quick look at the brand new Revelation of the Daleks, History of the Daleks set. Like I said before, this is a great set. Uh, if you missed out on any of these other releases, head on out, pick this one up. It's a great set and it looks really nice on the shelf. If you have the other figures, it's really nice to expand your Dalek army and these Daleks in particular look really nice on the shelf. These are some of my favourite Dalek designs, so it's nice to get these in figure form. So let me know what you think of this set down below in the comments. Have you managed to find one yet? And if so, what do you think of it? Thank you very much for watching and next time hopefully I'll be taking a look at either the Five Doctors set or the Sick Doctor and Ultimate Adventure TARDIS. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.